Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play Cho'Gath jungle. He is a really awesome hyper carry off meta jungle pick. The reason why you don't see him is he struggles to solo a lot of junglers before he's level 6, but once he's level 6, he can really solo anything in the game. And uh, you mainly want to focus on ganking pre-6, which is what I'll be showing you. For your runes, you're gonna want Hell Blades, Cheap Shot with Eyeball, Ultimate Hunter, Approach Velocity, super, super important. Whenever you CC the enemy or slow them, You'll be moving faster towards them. Your E's is slow, your Q's a knock up and a slow, and your exhaust is a slow. So you can just exhaust them and run right into them with your E and do ridiculous damage because Hell of Blades. And yeah, and then we have free boots, so we don't have to buy boots. That's about it. We're gonna start with bot lane for best leash possible. If you don't have a gank, just do a full clear. Otherwise, do a five camp clear into gank on Cho'Gath. It's usually what you're gonna wanna do. Predator is also decent on Cho'Gath, but he can't really solo anything if he takes Predator. At least not until he's stacked up his R quite a bit or he's just ridiculously fed. Hellblades gives him a massive oomph factor and also makes his ganks higher damage. Just not quite as consistent because he doesn't have that same movement speed. We're going to hit him with the auto attack Q. Knocks him up out of his auto attack. The exhaust is also nice to have. Even if they have a Zin Zhao jungle or something like that, you should still be able to solo them with your exhaust. And your exhaust also makes it easier to land your skill shots, like your W and your Q. I'm a big fan of it. The only other summoner you'd really take on Cho'Gath is uh, Flash. Flash doesn't play as well with approach velocity as exhaust does, as you can imagine. I think exhaust as a summoner spell is just overpowered since it's point and click and it does so much. In a fight to the death, would you rather have exhaust or flash? Most of the time it'd be exhaust. Exhaust is also a lower cooldown, which is weird to me since I view it as the stronger summoner spell. Particularly as a jungler, like as a laner, a lot of times you need flash or survivor gank, but as a jungler, you're not really getting ganked as a jungler most of the time. So find myself more and more not taking flash as a uh, summoner spell unless the specific champion it synergizes ridiculously well with. Actually, there are those. Champions like Fiddlesticks, that's the case. That way you can stay on top of people with this five-man R stack. And we're still super healthy. We'll go ahead and pop one refill. Look for Scuttle fight. We don't have a gank. Top. Ooh, we could fight this chick. Yasuo needs to run away from that. I'll grab Scuttle for free. We gave him vision, so we should just live. We can look for bot gank. Kiana's gonna go for uh, bot scuttle. So we'll go top gank. You sweeper, doesn't seem to be warded. I think we can get this singed. Massive Scion knockout. Got him with my Q. Kill him with my silence. We could have went in straight for the auto. I want some XP. I do not want to steal this guy's CS though. I don't want to take it from him. That's something you don't want to do. But sharing the XP is fine, because you both get 80% of the total. Getting 80% of the total is huge, and we shove the wave in. That enemy top laner is going to miss XP and gold. First item rush against their team, I am going to go Frostfire. Frostfire has been buffed for Season 12. It's a lot more bursty. It's a much better item than it was for the majority of Season 11. You can go AP items, though, if your team... If you feel like you can get away with going AP, Frostfire is really good, and I think Rocket Belt's really good as well. Those are my two favorite for the AP items. They both give a lot of ability haste too, which is nice. So, ooh, this chick's in my jungle. Who does she think she is? Who does she think she is? I should be able to walk around this without them being able to see me. I might be walking into a Kiana here, though. Oh, got her with the EW. Our E slowed her. She's slowed now. We could go in for the Q. We're still in combat, so I'm not going to bother. I will exhaust Jin. He's on his fourth shot. Go for the knockup now that he's stunned. Got off a double silence there and landing double AoEs on our E. Go with the Q. I had to use a tipper Q. If I could, if I was in range to slow with my E or silencer, I would do that first, then go for Q. It was very clear neither one of them had flash because they had previous Dez. Plus in that fight, obviously, they didn't use the flash. It's hard for them to get away from me there. Damage output was pretty high. I was happy with that. If I was Evelyn, I would have definitely died there when Leona went in on me. And if I didn't have exhaust, I might have died as well because I would have soaked the full fourth gin shot. Having the extra 300 health from Bomby Cinder makes a big difference. There's no way Kiana can solo us. 
The only thing that can kind of solo Cho'Gath is a uh, lethal tempo jungler. It needs to be something that is like stronger and stronger the longer the fight goes against you. Things like Electrocute is just bursty and you can't burst down a tank like that. I think Kiana is going into my jungle. Dragon, Dragon's up, blue's up in 50. I think we just go Dragon here. There's a huge chance Kiana's is just taking my top camp. So by the time I run over there, they'll be gone anyways. There's no reason for me to go back. Since my bot lane has a lead, it's okay to take Dragon now. The only thing bad about it is our mid laner isn't here. LeBlanc seems rather occupied. That's why we're going to get away with this. Knock it up first or silence it first. Take off its shield. Hopefully this guy doesn't take it from me. Nice. He just leashed it to me. And I have my R. I think he could bait this. You want to try to use your R as fast as possible. Generally, you'll be using it against a monster. I hope they go for the Lucian. I think they might because he looks like he's on his own. Leona's going to get all worked up with nowhere to go. Let's just freak out and go in. Lucian needs to bait this a little bit better than what he's doing, though. He's not really baiting it. All right, that's perfect. That's exactly what we needed. She dodged it, but now she's going to get E'd. And we have approach velocity, so it's hard for them to get away. Yep. Got her with my R. That is why you need approach velocity on Cho'Gath, guys. It's super important. If you don't have approach velocity... After you hit them with an E, they'll basically get away because the slow itself isn't good enough. But the slow combined with approach velocity, they just can't get away. Unless they have a huge dash in their kit. Kiana, looks like she's going for her red buff. That's what I want. If she was coming over here, that'd make things difficult. It looks like she took my blue buff, so it's almost like they knew I was in that bush or she just did a random invade. Yasuo might actually die to her. Yasuo was making missing a big chunk of health when he went in on that. It's very unfortunate we had to wait in the bush for so long because you want to start stacking your R immediately and, and you can use it on just normal minions or monsters six times before it won't let you use it on them for more permanent stacks. So like right now we could have already used our R a second time and had two stacks. But at the very least it, we can still use it six times on normal minions or monsters. Yeah, she's taking my camps. It's so annoying. She almost has as much KP as me as well. A lot of her ganks have been working. She has a lot of kill participation. Let me drop an R on this. Get it down to below 1,000 health. At level 1, it starts out at 1,000 damage against monsters. Monsters and minions. I think we can pinch Singe here. He does only has tier 1 boots. I have special boots. Got the knock up into the E's. I love exhaust, dude. If I didn't have exhaust, that would not have worked. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, exhaust is actually so strong on this champ. So much fun. I'm sitting on a stupid amount of gold. I need to back. I don't know where Kiana is. My R is on cooldown. I'm not going to be able to kill her as is, so I don't feel like invading her. Uh, turbo chem tank would be really good. Frostfire would be really good, too. No, we'll go chem tank. We need to close distance on these guys. And I'm going to go Merc Treads because they have a lot of CC. They have Leona, two Leona stuns, one Leona snare. My tenacity helps against all of that. It helps against the Jin snare, LeBlanc snare, Kiana stun. I think Kiana has two different stuns. And then they might have some potential slows depending on what items their champions build. I think Singe gets a Rhyalize. I have a feeling they're going to get really demoralized. Whenever I play Cho'Gath jungle and I get fed, they oftentimes surrender 15 minute mark because I'm just kind of one-shotting them on a tank champ. People don't like that. Very demoralizing when something you can't kill can kill you so quick. Lucian pinches. Yeah, this is going to be 15 minute. I decided to get chem tank so I could close distance on people a bit easier. Got my slowdown straight into a silence, then a Q. When they're silenced, they can't use an ability. So after you hit them with a slow and a silence, they'll be moving slower 
and they can't use an ability, which makes it really easy for you to land your Q no matter how good they are. If you just center over them, they can't really get out of the way. Go ahead and R that, go top side. I can't get the Kiana, she's moving too quick. At least he also got the kill. Singe has tier two boots now. Max here is silent seconds. I haven't pinched. I have a feeling this is warded. Bonk. Got him with my E. <laughs> I wonder if Sion appreciated that or not. Whenever I jungle, I almost always mute my teammates. The only time I don't mute my teammates is if I'm specifically like trying to make a video. Like around like chat drama but uh when i'm trying to do more educational i don't like having it there because it's really distracting especially the pings people's pings are not very helpful there's just too much chat and ping pollution leona flashed Jin flashed i believe and lucian flashed everyone's flashing down there we have four stacks of r already they got dragon kiana's gonna try to get the shutdown just not gonna be able to close the distance on Lucian. Lucian's a pretty nasty counter to Jin and Leona in lane phase. Gonna chem tank into this chick. Red Smiter. Hit her with an E. Auto her down. Down she goes. Whenever your chem tank's up or whenever your R's up, either or or both, is a really good time to look for a gank. Remember, if you have a free gank, it's better than two monster camps easily. If it's a free gank, you need to take it. Just don't waste your time on a gank you don't think is going to work. That's why it's important to meet your teammates, because you get pressured into doing ganks you don't think are even going to work. Got her cut off here. She's got nowhere to go. Don't know if she saw me. She might have. She definitely saw me. She's not trying to run this way. Yeah, she got away. Kind of hard to chase. If I had chem tank, though, this Leona would get torn up. I'll wait in the bush. Leona or Kian is going to come over here. Or Jin. It'd be hilarious if they just walked into the bush. Almost got the knockup. They're not going to fight me, though. Jin's too far behind. I'm going to have to look elsewhere to gank. Their bot lane's playing ridiculously safe. Kiana's going to walk into me thinking I'm bot, maybe. Or she's... Where, where is she going? She's going back for my jungle? My hungul? I almost got my knockup on her. These guys are out of mana. Got you with my silence, you little hoe. That's what I wanted you to do, LeBlanc. <laughs> We're healing off the minion so she couldn't kill us. Hit the silence on Kiana. She couldn't use any of her abilities. She fell right into my trap. She didn't see the trap card. I remember whenever I used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! on the TV, it would always put the trap card down and the opponent would always forget about it. It was so exciting to see. But whenever they did that, my dad would point it out and it ruined the show for me. I was like 8 and he's like 30 some, 35 or 38 or something. He was old. He knew what was up. He had a sneaky advantage, but he was still watching those child animes. My dad was a full-grown adult and he was watching Dragon Ball Z with us. And he enjoyed it. <laughs> I think he's the only one of us who still watches it. <laughs> <laughs> He's the last line of defense. Gotta cut this guy off. Bran, what are you doing? Got him with the silence. Auto attack in the R. That's another permanent stack. There's no way these guys can, t can win now, in my opinion. All we have to do is keep scaling up our R and they'd lose. We're so tanky, too. Your R scales off of HP and off of AP. It's why tank and AP Cho'Gath are both very viable. Like I said, only reason I decided to go tank this game is our team had a ridiculous amount of damage when you look at Yasuo, Lucian, and Bran. 
I didn't feel like we actually needed any more damage. Plus, they have a bunch of burst on their team. And they're very mobile. Like the LeBlanc Kiana Singe, to where if I would an AP Cho, I might have trouble just landing out raw skill shots. Uh, for next item, I say we go Dead Man's. Basically, we want more movement speed or more ability haste. Ability haste and movement speed are your best uh, utilities on Choga. Alright, let me go in the hex gate. Very nice. So passively, we're moving around at 453 right now. It's pretty good. Other people are moving around around 385 to 375 to 390. So we're moving pretty quick. We'll go ahead and R this to get the permanent stack. Against epic monsters, it's a good idea. I was going to give it to him. I try to give it to whoever starts it, but it's clear he was giving it to me. I'm going to come take into this chump. Run him down with ease. Brand gets the kill without me. That's probably game, to be honest. I'll be shocked if they don't surrender. Absolutely shocked. Oh, Lucian's thrown a little bit. They're not going to surrender now. That's good. You guys will get to see the power of Cho'Gath scaling. I decided not to use Herald here. At best, I'm only going to get this turret. If you get the second Herald or a Herald past the 14 minute mark, it's best to make sure you get an inhibitor with it or at least get two turrets. If you're only getting one turret with it, it's not that great. And, and if you're wondering why I said the 14 minute mark, 14 minute mark is when the plates fall off. So if you're getting one turret, only one turret, and there's not even plates on it, it's not that, it's not as good as you'd hope it to be. She's dead. I didn't get the R stack, but my red buff burn finished her off. I decided to R early because her passive was about to kick in right on my R threshold. So, so that's when she went invisible and my red buff burn, my red smite burn finished her off. Go ahead and use it now. There's no one here to defend it. We're at seven stacks, which is decent. We're getting... Uh... 120 bonus to HP per 7. So 120 times 7. What is that? 500, 600, 640, I believe. Oh, 840. My bad. Why did... Yeah, that... Did, man, I didn't carry it. <laughs> How could it be? <laughs> yeah, 840. Not bad. Doing math in your head late at night is kind of hard. Not going to lie. Chem tank time, baby! Oh, I didn't get him. I'm in a really shit spot here. Oh, I'm just dead. I'm just dead. I got greedy. I got so greedy, boys. Going in for a limit test definitely wasn't worth it. Could still stack up my R three times against monsters alone. Taking lots and lots of damage. I think it's time to get War Mugs. War Mugs is a very nice item to have. Buffs out your health a lot. You get some ability haste out of it. And you can leave combat and get full HP like Fountain. After just a little bit. The enemies are starting to make a comeback. They're getting shutdowns on us. Simon's doing a little bit of farming in my jungle himself. His passive on his W is giving him 622 health. Mine's at 840. Interesting how similar that is. Because it's a very different ability. It's whenever he kills anything. My R is only for when my R kills something. And it's limited against non-champions, non-epic monsters. And his is almost as high as mine. I think that goes to show just kind of how strong Scion is. He only has 118 CS. That's not even like a crazy amount for how long this game is. Jeez, this guy's hard to get. We got it with our chem tank slow when we made contact and our E slow. That helped land everything. He's juking out everyone's skill shots. Did a really good job with that. Scion's chilling in their jungle. As a team, what we need to do is just take every objective. Take every objective and win by default. Playing for kills is useless. You could play for kills for three hours straight and not end the game. That's what I was doing when I died. 
Should be able to R this blue buff. I could just use my R on the wolves, that's fine. Doesn't really matter what you use it on if it's already a non-epic monster. It says we can use it one more time against it. Right now at 1080 health. Brand's just waiting. We should just wait for dragons. It's kind of risky to start Baron. If they all five show up, if we haven't gotten a pick yet, it could turn very sour. If they, if they wipe us clean, if they get an ace and Baron, they'll, they'll basically just win the game at that point. They're not stepping up. They're playing super safe. We gotta just take Drag Soul, then force Baron fight and win. Kiana's moving super fast off her Yulmus. Probably has Relentless Hunter as well. Got the silence. I got tossed around. Getting getting tossed around. Uh, she's a goner. They burned so many abilities on me, they couldn't pinch. I'm too tanky. I want to go get singed. I'm going to teleport over there. Yasuo got him without me. It feels bad. It's time to do Baron. We can use our R on this. That's another perk of being tank Cho'Gath. If you're out of position like I was, your teammates have more time to get to you before you die. Tank Cho'Gath's a lot easier to play well on than AP Cho'Gath. And that's it. The enemies quit. That's all there is, folks. If you guys enjoyed this Tank Cho'Gath Jungle Commentary Guide for Season 12, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.